So the most important thing in this class is to pull your attention inward so that you're focusing on yourself and you're feeling really embodied, that you're feeling really present in your body. So if we start doing any kind of a movement that feels uncomfortable or is causing any kind of stress, just go to the sort of the edge of your limit and then pull back a bit so that you're always working within your comfort zone. Anything that hurts or anything that I ask you to do that you don't think you want to do, it's your class, your practice. So pick and choose um, and just enjoy the class. So we're going to start off this morning with just a little bit of a breath practice, a pranayama practice. And what I was going to do this morning was teach you a breath that's called um, the ocean breath. Some people call it the victorious breath. It's called ujjayi breathing. And it's something that you can do to kind of ramp up the energy in your body. So if you're in a yoga pose that you feel yourself starting to um, get a little bit weakened, you can use this breath to kind of pull your energy in toward the center. So it's kind of an interesting uh, breath to learn. Most of the sound is in your head. And if you get the breath moving rhythmically, it sounds like the ocean rolling back and forth inside your head. Other people call this the Darth Vader breath. And if you think of Darth Vader, it might help you to make the breath. So the first thing we're going to do with this breath, and we want to make as much sound as possible. So just imagine that um, you're the only person that can hear your own breathing, and that's in fact what's going to happen. You're going to fill your head with sound. So we're going to start on the out-breath, and the way we're going to make the out-breath is we're going to open the mouth and exhale through the mouth as if you had a pair of sunglasses in your hand and you were fogging up the lens to clean it. So you inhale, and then... Now in yoga, we normally breathe in and out through the nose. So this time we're going to make the same kind of sound, but we're going to exhale through the nose. So we're going to inhale and make that same kind of ha breath. You might find your tongue is lifting up at the back of your throat and kind of blocking off your air passages. So we'll inhale and then Curl your tongue up toward the roof of your mouth. And now the inhale. For the inhale, imagine that you're saying to yourself the word home as you're inhaling. So you're going to you know, do it through the nose. And then exhale. Inhale. Lightly close your eyes. And then just continue inhaling and exhaling as rhythmically as you can. See if you can get the sense that your breath is the waves of the ocean rolling out onto the sand. Keeping your eyes closed, let go of the ujjayi breath, and just let your breath become even and smooth. Deep inhale, long exhale. Feel yourself grounded through your sitting bones onto the mat. Feel yourself centered. Feel the urgency and the busyness of your daily life falling away and find the quiet that fills this spaciousness that the breath is creating with inside you. Your thoughts begin to slow down. Awareness blossoms into being. Feel 
mind and your thoughts are no longer grabbed and pulled and distracted. There's a sense of presence in this moment, in this place, in this mat. No anxiety about the past. Let go of any worries or confusion about the future. And just allow yourself to be rooted in your own being. Feel the energy of life flowing through your body. Allow this feeling of being free to deepen, and to grow and expand. Feel yourself less bound by borders. Feel yourself limited by roles and expectations. Feel the edges of your breath, your body, and your awareness itself begin to soften and expand. Each breath comes like a wave at the seaside, rising onto the shore, Take in this sensation of contentment, of warmth, of happiness. Feel yourself here, just as you are. Gently open your eyes, letting the light come into your eyes, into your senses, rather than having your eyes dart out and grab. Just feel yourself becoming present in your room. So we'll begin by coming to Standing. Just to walk off the side. And we'll start off by doing another little breath practice, which is called the breath of joy. So what we want to do in this is to gather up all our energy, bring it all into the center of our being, and then just release any tension with a big ha sound. So what we're going to do is a three-part inhale. So we're going to inhale our arms up to the front. Inhale again out to the side. And then inhale, swooping up. Feet about hip width apart. And then on the exhale, we'll just exhale with a big whoosh. And you can go down gently or more vigorously. And we'll do this breath three times together. So we'll Lift your knees, 
Make sure your hips are over the knees. We'll inhale, the arms go to the side, turn the palms up to the ceiling, look to the thumbs, turn the palms out toward the other side, and very gently exhale. Again. And down. And down. Once more up. And down. And this time as your hands get to your waist, very gently begin to hinge forward from your hips. And then when you get about halfway down, just let your arms hang in front of your body. Let your head relax. Bend your knees. And then very gently roll yourself down. To see. Put your arms. Okay. Bend your knees. Make sure that you're, you come to close to the front of your mat. To inhale our arms up. And then we're going to very gently roll down to our back one vertebrae at a time. And if you need a little bit of assistance because your core isn't quite as strong as it could be, you can grab onto the back of your thighs and just roll yourself back. Or you can keep your hands straight and just Try to go back slowly, one vertebrae at a time. And then bring your arms down to the, to the sides of the mat, about 30 degree, degrees away from your body. And turn the palms up toward the ceiling. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, press your lower back into the mat. Feel how your tailbone lifts and tilts toward the ceiling. And then as you inhale, press your tailbone back down toward the mat. And feel your lower back lift so there's a little hollow beneath your spine. And inhale, and exhale, press your lower back into the mat as the tailbone tilts up toward the ceiling. And then exhale, inhale, exhale, press the back against the mat. As you inhale, roll the tailbone down toward the mat. Lift the lower back. And inhale, exhale. And just gently move through this very gentle pelvic tuck and tilt. Beginning to lengthen and release the muscles that attach onto the sacrum, the bone across the lower back. Releasing and relaxing tension. Now come to stillness. Very gently begin to roll your head from left to right. And just let gravity roll your head to so rolling along the occipital bone. Soften your face, soften your jaw, soften the muscles around your eye socket, even see if you can soften the muscles around your ears. Let your head roll gently from side to side, and then bring your head back. Bring your awareness to your legs, to your bent knees, to your feet rooted on the mat. 
Feel how your pelvis is pressing into the mat. Inhale and very gently on the exhale, let your right knee fall out toward the right side. And as it gets to a certain point toward the mat, the left knee is going to follow. So just let your left knee come and very gently roll onto your And then bring your left knee up to center. Let your right knee follow. And then let the left knee. So pour your body now over to the left side. And then back to the right. And just allow your body to roll from side to side. And then come back to center. So your knees are bent and pointing toward the ceiling. And your arms are out in a T-shape from your shoulders. This time take your left arm and lift it up. So your fingers are pointing toward the ceiling. Bend your elbow so that your palm comes down onto your heart. And now very gently rolling toward the right, roll, slide your left arm along your chest to your right shoulder, and then down across your right arm as your body rolls to the right. When both palms are touching, let the top palm slide out onto the floor, and then gently roll back. And then you can just bend your right elbow, place your right palm on your heart, and slide. Roll your body to the left. Just let your body roll back and forth from side to side at your own pace following your own breath. The body is about 60 to 65% water. So just imagine as you're rolling from side to side that you can feel this fluid water in your body rolling you from side to side as if you, in fact, were the waves on the ocean rolling onto the beach. Bring a small part of your awareness to your face. Relax your jaw. Relax your neck. Next time you come to center, come to stillness. Place both of your palms on your heart center. Keep your knees bent. And just begin to breathe and feel the energy that's moving through your body. On the next inhale, bring your right knee up toward your chest. Place your right palm on your right knee. And then on the next inhale, bring your left knee up to your chest. Join the right knee and place your palm 
Now very gently begin to rock from side to side along your spine. See if you can bring your awareness to the sacrum, to the broad sacred bone across your back. You feel how this is massaging and releasing the short muscles along the back. Then come back to center. And then very gently begin to rock on your spine from your head to your feet. You can use a little bit of pulling on your knees to get yourself a little bit of energy. Start moving slowly and then begin to move a little bit more vigorously. You can use your feet. And then eventually rock yourself right up to sitting. Now we're going to take a block and find yourself a space on the wall somewhere. And just need to come and stand across the wall. I'll stand here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to just do a little bit of uh, playing around with our posture to see to see what how we're standing. So the first thing we're going to do is just kind of stand and relax. Stand how you think would be a, a very good posture. To stand. Okay. Now we're going to. Take your heels and place your heels at the back of the wall so that your heels are touching the baseboard. The back of your calves will be touching, your buttocks will be touching, shoulders touching, and the back of your head is touching. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Now relax your shoulders. Make sure that your chin is parallel to the floor, so you want your head touching the wall, but your chin should be straight, not pointing up to the ceiling. Inhale. And now just take a step forward. Your spine is perfectly aligned. Does this feel any different than where you were standing before? Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is Stand sideways, place the block on the floor. I'm going to just root into your feet. Feel how you're, you're standing on the ground. Step up onto the block with your foot that's closest to the wall. Press your way into the block. The blocks are a little spongy, so you might want to keep your fingertips on the wall just for a bit of support. Press down into the leg that's in the block, and then try to bring both hips so that your pelvis is even. And then flex the foot. Relax your shoulders. You feel your weight just pouring down through the leg that's on the block. And then very gently just take the leg, begin to swing it back and forth. Try to just let gravity move, get the motivation for the movement. same time, let your shoulders become heavy, and just let your arm swing, swing the opposite to your leg. And then begin with the leg, just to make a little circle.
So what we're doing is we're relaxing the tension across the back and we're letting the head of the femur sink down out of the hip socket. Now step off the block. Feel into your feet. See if it feels like one leg is longer than the other. Does it feel like the leg that was hanging off the block is slightly longer than the other? So what you've done is released the muscle that was tight. So we've relaxed all of the tension in the lower back. So we'll just turn around and step on the block. The other foot. Take a moment to root down into the leg that's standing on the block. Try to even out the pelvis. And then very gently flexing the foot so you don't stub your toe. Just begin to let the leg swing back and forth. Let gravity guide the motion. You can make little circles with your leg. Take your hand and have your arm and your shoulder swing, so we're relaxing the shoulder. And they say that your body has already gotten the idea of what you want it to do, which is to release the head of the finger from the hip socket so that it's already begun much more quickly to release so you can step off the block. And both of your legs should feel even. Step back with your heels against the wall. Press your head back into the wall. Make certain that your chin is parallel to the mat. And this time we're going to push our head forward and then pull the head, press the head back. Push the head forward and then press the occipital bone into the pushing. Instead of tilting down, we're just going forward so it's kind of like a turtle sticking its head out of the shelf. You might begin to feel along the sides of the neck and down the shoulders. The muscles are beginning to And then come back to stillness, gently press the head into the wall. Take the arms out to the side. And then very gently turn the palms out. And then bring the arms up as if you were making snow angels. And back down. the buttocks into the wall, the heels, the shoulders. And down. And then bring your arms to stillness at the side of your body. Bring your arms out to the shoulder. You bend them up into cactus arms. And this time we're just going to bring the fingers up. They're along the wall. Keep pressing the lower back, the head. Keep pressing into the wall. Down. And then stop. Step up from the wall. Just give yourself a nice shake. Take your block. Stand back against the wall. Set yourself into a nice straight posture. Pressing the heels, back of the calves, the back of the buttocks, the shoulders, the back of the head. Place the block on your head. These blocks are a little slippery, so you may just want to keep one hand on top. And then very gently, with this new posture, begin to walk around the room. Just walk one circle around the room and then come back to the mat.
told some of you this story before. I was uh, teaching at a college in Africa, and after the end of the final year-end exams, my students decided they were going to give me an exam to see how I was doing at living in Africa. And one of the uh, tasks on the exam was to put a bucket with water in it on my head, and I had to walk across the room. <laughs> so it's kind of neat. So now come back down to your mat. And I'm going to ask you to just lie on your back. <clears throat> We're going to do a very abbreviated uh, practice from Feldenkrais, from awareness to movement, to relax uh, the shoulder across the shoulders and the uh, upper back. So begin by straightening your legs if you can and just bring your awareness inside and begin to feel the places where your body is making really comfortable contact with the mat. Might be the back of your heels, the back of your calves, somewhere along the torso area, shoulders, And also briefly note the places where your body is lifting up from the mat. Be a little bit of contraction in the muscles. Inhale and bend your knees so that your feet are on the mat and your knees are pointing toward the ceiling. And then very gently, as if your knees were giant windshield wipers, just begin to move your knees from left to right, windshield wipering across the midline of your body. If you're ever feeling tension or tightness in your lower back, if you lie on the floor and go through this wiper, you move your legs a few times, you'll experience quite a degree. Now bring your knees back to stillness, pointing toward the ceiling. And then very gently roll over so that you're lying on your belly. Bend your elbows so that your right palm is on the mat. Your left palm is on top of your right palm. Elbows are out to the side and your right ear is on top of the palm. Now we're going to use some active isolated stretching to begin to engage and then release across the shoulders. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to lift the right elbow up off the ground and bring it back down. And just lift it up down, up, down, up, down, many times, up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then relax. Then lift the left elbow up, down, up, down, up, down. Down. And now back to lifting the right elbow, and this time as you lift the elbow up and down, sense into your body and feel what other parts of your body want to get involved in this action. Every time I lift my elbow, my jaw wants to clench for some reason. Some people feel their glutes tightening. See if there's other parts of your body that want to join in but really aren't necessary for And then begin lifting the other elbow up, down, up, down. Come back to center. Change the placement of your hands. Put the left palm on the mat, the right palm on top of the left, and put the left ear on the palms, 
And begin lifting and lowering the left elbow up, down, up, down, down, up, down. And then switch to the right elbow up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Bring your forehead to the back of your palms. Place your forehead on the back of your palms. And very gently begin to roll your head from right to left along the back of your hands. And then bring your head back to center. Change the placement of your palm so once again the right palm is on the bottom of the mat, left palm on top of the right, the right ear on the backs of your hands. Begin to lift the right elbow, and as you lift the right elbow, roll along your forehead so that your head is rolling toward the left as your right elbow. Begin to lift the left elbow and let the head roll in the other direction. The head is rolling up. Bring your head to stillness, your forehead on the back. This time we're going to lift the right elbow and roll the head to the left. Lower the right elbow and lift the left elbow and the head will roll to the right. So try to make this kind of wave-like motion with your elbows. Lift both of your elbows up off the mat and inhale and then on the exhale press down into your palms and lift your head and shoulders slightly and then let your head go back to the palms. Keep the elbows up and then lift the head and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. And then let your elbows come down to the mat. Take your feet wide apart so that your feet are on either edge of your mat. Turn your toes so that your toes are facing in towards each other and your heels are pointing out toward the outside of the room. So your legs are open. And this is called crocodile pose, arankasana. Feel your belly pressing into the mat.
Turn your right ear so that your right ear is pressing against your hands. And then very gently begin to lift your right elbow, lower it. Lift and lower. See if you can feel any greater degree of range of motion. This very subtle movement has relaxed and released the muscles on your shoulders. And then change the placement of your palm so the left palm is on the bottom and the left ear is on your hands. And then very gently begin to lift the left arm. Bring your knees, your feet together. Lift your head and slide your palms so your palms are underneath your shoulders. Pressing into your arms, lift your upper body up. Switch you up on your knees. Lift yourself up onto your knees. And then walk your knees forward and sit back down on your knees. And a nice stretch across the top of your knees. And then just swing your hips around so that you're sitting on the mat and you can swing your knees back around. Just take a moment to shrug your Shoulders up and around. And then back in the other direction. I'm just sitting with the knees bent onto the mat. And once again, bring your palms facing each other and very gently roll. Down, or grab onto the back of your thighs. Straighten your legs. Your arms up to the side. Now very gently begin to roll your toes towards each other and then let your toes fall out toward the other walls. Roll the toes in and then out. Roll the toes in once more and then just let the feet fall out. Relax your legs. Roll your palms down toward the floor and then roll them back up toward the ceiling. Roll them toward the floor and once more out to the ceiling. And then roll your palms toward the floor. And then feel as you roll your palms up toward the ceiling how this opens and relaxes across the collarbones, across the shoulders. And then very gently just let your head roll from side to side along the occipital bone in the skull, and then let gravity bring your head to rest in the center. You can gradually still your hands, the palms facing up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath and feel the inhale flowing right from the tip of your nostrils, right down through the body, right down to your toes. And then exhale 
feel the energy moving up and circulating through your body. Bring your awareness to your feet. Feel how your feet are heavy and relaxed, sinking into the mat, yet supported by the earth, grounded, secure, and stable. Slide your attention up your legs from your feet, up your ankles, relax around your ankles. Feel the backs of your calves relax. Feel the shins relax and sliding down toward the mat. Feel your upper thighs and your hips relax. Feel your body sinking deeply into the mat. Feel your chest and your torso relaxing. Feel how you're broadening and becoming wider, that you're occupying a larger, more stable, more grounded space on this earth. Feel your shoulders sinking back down into the mat. Feel a sense of relaxation moving from the shoulders down the upper arms, from the forearms, into the hands, the wrists. Feel the backs of your hands sinking deeply into the mat as your arms and hands become heavy, released, and relaxed. Bring your awareness to your neck. Feel how the relaxation is transferring from the front of the neck to both sides. Feel a lengthening and a relaxing along the back of the neck. Your head. Feel your head sinking softly being cradled and held by the mat, being held and grounded by the earth. Relax around your eyes. Relax your jaw. Bring your awareness to your breath. Feel your inhale becoming deeper, moving more fully down into the body, filling the lungs. On the exhale, feel your lungs emptying completely. Inhale, fresh prana, life energy, oxygenating the blood. Exhale, removing toxins. Inhale, and on the inhale, feel the breath bringing energy and movement through your body. And begin to very gently wiggle your fingers, bringing a little bit of movement into your fingers. And at the same time, very gently begin to wiggle your toes, bringing a little bit of movement into your fingers and your toes. Inhale and bring your feet together on the mat. 
and then exhale. And then inhale and bend your knees, bring your knees up to your chest. Wrap your arms around your knees. <coughs> Give yourself a big squeeze. Give yourself a nice hug. Take a moment to think about how much our body works, how much our body offers us each moment. Very gently begin to rock from side to side. Gradually rolling yourself over onto your right side. You can make a little pillow with your right arm for your head. You just take a moment to pause here. Then keeping your eyes closed, using your hands to press into the mat, very gently push yourself up to sitting, but keeping your eyes closed and let your head and neck be the last part of the body to come up. So instead of leading with the head, let the head come up last, so we maintain that nice relaxation Skin just above the heart and just lightly pull. Inhale. And we'll end the class by chanting Om three times. So we're going to do this as a Aum. Do a bit lower. So we'll end we'll do this three times. So we'll start.